Scotland's coming in. They're buying brand new Peterbilts off the off the line and bringing them to us. And uh, we're putting cabin bunk panels on them, eight inch stacks, fender guards. We're doing visors, lights in the visors, and a couple little odds and sods. But uh, yeah, they're coming in, they're doing like 40 some trucks. We're doing them for them and they've got a show truck out front we're gonna do for them too. So that'll be really radical as well. It's a 280 wheelbase, yellow flat top. We got enough parts in now to start hanging parts and uh, you know wiring everything in. The whole theme of this truck is to actually build a really nice looking show truck that is workable. Well, in the last year or so, we've really had a lot of success in building glider kits, as kind of the industry knows them. Uh, this one is actually a father and son. They're both out from Alberta. We had completed the son's truck a few weeks ago, and now we're working on the old man's truck. They brought a shopping list of what they wanted to see, and then we go ahead and complete you know, complete what they're envisioning. You know, right down to these fenders that they uh, have, you know, most rhino line the inside, paint the outside, but because of what they do and the severity of it, they were, more, they were concerned that the paint would, you know, wouldn't stand, stand up or, or live for what they do. So they wanted the inner and outer rhino line. This is uh, Ryan Hasty's new 389, so it's getting a C15 cat and then an 18 speed behind it. Custom paint, it's getting pretty much everything you can think of. We're gonna do a bunch of lights on the roof too, and it's getting strobe lights on the back, full fenders, uh, big pipes, stainless wrap tanks, you know, it's getting everything.